It's Tuesday the 1st of October 2013 and I'm at Liphook on an overcast day for a walk along the Serpent Trail in the direction of Lys. Having walked along the road from the station I'm now joining the Serpent Trail for the first footpath of the walk. There's a serpent trail sign and that is the way forward. Following a nice wide wooded track there are definite signs of autumn with leaves beginning to fall. The path continues to plunge through woods. Quite an interesting vista straight ahead there. I'm sorry there's not much variety in the videoing but this is a long path through woods. There's a paucity of Serpent trail way marks along this path, but at last I've found some to confirm the route. And there's the wide track ahead, and it's also starting to spit of rain. The path goes across a golf course. Still a nice wide clear track. The walk goes past the black Fox Inn. After the road, the Serpent Trail heads up this track. The Serpent Trail goes through the gate opposite. Now heading along this clear track. The path has gone into a valley. It stopped raining for the moment, at least. The Serpent Trail now goes across this heathland. Fortunately, the rain is where well, it's starting slightly, but it's not too bad. And there's a Serpent Trail sign pointing the way ahead along that narrow fairly overgrown looking path. Now heading across a part of Chapel Common. Actually the Serpent Trail has turned right and it doesn't seem to be any clear path at all. That roughly the way ahead. I managed to join a very clear track which is confirmed as the Serpent Trail by this waymark. The Serpent Trail now turns right up there. At a car parking area the Serpent Trail does a dog leg and goes up there. Now heading towards the main road along the edge of this field, which is still part of Chapel Common. The Serpent Trail joins this tarmacked drive to the main road. We're then faced with a long walk along the main road to Rake. The walk turns left off the main road at the Flying Bull Rake. After going along an unmade road in Rake, the walk joins this wide track again through woodland. Now walking along the bottom of Rake Hangar, which is the wooded slope to my right. And there's an information board about Rake Hangar.
and that is the way ahead. Great views of Rake Hanger. And there's the track I'm following, still part of the Serpent Trail of course. Still on the path through Rake Hanger. I've now left the Serpent Trail for the road walk to Liss Station. And now at Liss Station and the end of today's walk along the Serpent Trail.